Karini, hola YouTube, Oli, Oli. ¿Me está escuchando su mamá, ma, Karini? Hello everybody, this is Marca here on YouTube. Today I have this fall makeup look for all of you guys using the Jaclyn Hill X Morphe Bolt Palette. So I'm using two palettes specifically and those are, let me tell you because I don't even know, and Gorgeous which is mostly the entire look. And then I'm also using the boss bling boss uh, palette as well that has a lot of purples i'm using a few shadows from the second palette but most of them are from the armed and gorgeous which looks like that it's a very beautiful palette super blendable super affordable uh and easy to use so if you guys want to learn how to get this look then keep on watching so first what you guys are gonna do is prime your eyelids in here i'm using a concealer as a primer and I'm using my MAC mineralized skin finish in medium something uh, to set that and then I'm starting off with axes uh, for my transition color and I'm applying this to my crease uh, with windshield wiper motions and really kind of taking it uh, extended outward into a kind of a cat eye shape <clears throat> And I pretty much just keep on building this color until I get uh, the payoff I really wanted. This eyeshadow was super easy to blend and it is a pretty nice color. Then I'm going to be using Agent, which is more of a brownie orangey color. And I'm going to be applying it pretty much in the same way I just use Axis, which is the yellow one. Just a little bit lower. These two will combine and will make it look more of a transition color, both of them together. But you can totally see the difference between them. Again, I'm applying it in a wind per windshield wiper motion that is gonna help it blend better. Then I'm gonna take a smooth criminal and I'm gonna start applying this one to my outer corner and really just kind of pack it on. I don't think I used the right eyeshadow brush for this color um, but it wasn't as pigmented as I thought it was going to be at least it doesn't look like that here on camera um, but I managed to make it work I actually really did like the payoff of it now I'm taking this eyeshadow which is Sparks I believe no it's Rockstar uh, from the other like the orangey palette bling balls I think it's called the other one so I'm taking that palette and I'm using that color just to make it stronger. I wanted it to be more of a burgundy color, so that's why I went into the other eyeshadow palette. Uh, but I keep on mixing Smooth Criminal and Rockstar. I think I even mi mixed Sparks in there. <clears throat> now I'm starting with a brush this is one from urban decay but i'm using this to carve out where i want the gold eyeshadow which is coin to go and i really want to make it a fine line and then a whole thing so that is pretty much what i'm doing right here you can see i'm kind of blending it to the other eyeshadows to the brown burgundy eyeshadows i'm really making sure it's perfect uh, crisp and perfect because if you're gonna do a cut crease or any line work you really wanted it to be like that so for the eyeshadow that I'm gonna be taking here I'm gonna use coin and this is my phase of I love this eyeshadow it packs on a lot so be careful with that I didn't really have a lot of fallout um, but it depends on the brush and how you apply it so I started using a Anastasia brush and then I decided to change for a MAC one. This is, um, forget the name, honestly, the number of it, but uh, it's the one that we normally use to highlight the inner corner. But anyway, any fine line brush will help you. So I'm just using that to really get that line, that sharp line in there that's really going to help it define and I'm just really making it perfect to where I want it to be and how pigmented I want it to be. 
Now I'm gonna be using a little bit of smooth criminal again and I'm gonna be mixing that uh, and kind of applying it. Now, what I did here was start, was uh, mix a little bit of coin with smooth criminal and with a little bit of rockstar and this is gonna help me blend both eyeshadows. Now I'm gonna take smooth criminal, pearl and rockstar and start um, defining that cut crease I did with that same eyeshadow brush I just cleaned it uh, but I'm just going over it to really define where that line goes and that really is gonna make a difference with any cut crease especially one like this that it's a complete line uh, will make or break the entire look so again I'm just blending it out seeing how it looks making sure both eyes look the same So now I'm gonna apply a little bit of axis and start blending out the eyeshadows because I felt like I lost a little bit of it. So now I'm using uh, my concealer. This is the Weightless Complete Coverage by Urban Decay. I believe it, this is medium light warm, um, but I use that with a contour brush by Real Techniques. I blend it out with the contour brush brush by Real Techniques. I blend it out with my fingers as well just to really melt it uh, into my skin. I'm going to be setting my foundation with my Mineralized Skin Finish Powder by MAC. You guys know I love this powder. It's always on my channel. It's always one of the things that I use because it looks super natural no matter how much you put of it. So the first eyeshadow that I'm taking here is Hush Hush. And honestly, you could completely miss this step because I end up changing it at the end um, because it didn't come out like I wanted it to. So, you know, you can totally change it too. Uh, but I'm using that and then I'm going to be using Rockstar again and I'm going to be mixing from the upper lid where we were using that to the lower lash line and really blend it, kind of smoke it out. Um, finish I want to do a little something something I kind of want to make it more sparkly yeah this is what I'm talking about excited about these palettes I actually really like them I haven't had any issues with any of them so I definitely recommend at least these two so far because they are the ones that I have tried if you what if you guys want me to do an in-depth review of these palettes I will do um, but yeah you guys that was it for today I am really really excited with these palettes I actually really do like them I think for my price range, they are really affordable, so I'm very happy about that. I think they're pretty good palettes. At least the two that I've used on this video are pretty good palettes. Um, the other two I haven't used, but as soon as I do, I will upload a video. Again, if you guys want me to do an in-depth review of these palettes, I will do. Just leave it down in the comments below or tweet it at me or Instagram me about uh, doing the review of these palettes but yeah that was it for today um if you guys like this look and like this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any new videos that are two a week and that's pretty much it i hope you guys like it and i will see you in my next video bye